Oh, that's the lighthouse from the beginning of the game. Yep, I know button. I think that was the best for the both of us. And I now know she has a gun, so that's a thing. Hello there, Doe. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because if you dream. Whoa. And the storm. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. It is. It's insane. Is the girl here? Or is she? I bet she's in the back, uh, front here. Storm. No. That's interesting. I guess I'm gonna go with Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. <sighs> Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. I'm sorry I you have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever help. since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate, just in case. I think Cohen is just played off, but shit? paid off more than kind of being brave agenda. in this game so far. He has a lot I mean, of being files. brave and telling Rambo everything, still I got into gathering trouble. Enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Yeah. Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Yeah. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? Yeah. There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Yeah, that's love. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder Choice. I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. I'm not kind of know Nathan's secret by now. Drugs and money and... Even yours? Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Oh. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? Oh. I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Thank That's God. <sighs> I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? It's the most disgusting thing I figured you I would make him pay being. me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. To oh, good out. thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I'm sorry. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chloe. Oh, that's heartbreaking. So weird. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. I hope we can find her as well.
This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Okay. Oh, her talent. Her power is not something she can control totally. Oh no! Not again! She's back in the store. Why is this happening to me? What is this? Why am I here again? What? Feels like two realities like bleeding into each other. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find Holy out. shit. <sighs> Holy shit, that's oh. with this dough that's transparent that doesn't make any sense like I feel like this means that there are two realities within her head I feel should... like the dough is leading me I feel like there are two realities like bleeding in like the reality of the dope of the storm. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Is this for real? Oh! Holy fuck. What is this? I can still go from there quickly. I can't. So that will crash down. Don't think about it. What is this? The newspaper? What does it say? October 11th? Is this Friday? Friday? That's only four days away. Four days until the storm. What is this? That tornado is headed straight for the town. Is this like her seeing the future? There's actually gonna be a huge tornado going to Arcadia Bay? What? Chloe, you're here. Whoa. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Or is it, a, is it not a tornado? Morgan but gets like, about hey. five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not. Like, crazy. what if it's not like a tornado, but it's just like There's a something else I have metaphor to tell you. for something worse? Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to oh. me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. Yeah, but you can't prove that to anyone. I was able to anyway. go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have <laughs> those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. It's snowing? What the hell is this? How is Snowflakes? How is it's snowing? like 80 degrees. How? What? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
soul. What? Chrysalis. So that was the first episode of Life is Strange. I guess I should give a short review of what I've seen so far in this game. So, obviously the game surprised me. I didn't expect this game to be about um, time travel or reversing time and this um, girl with special powers. I expected to be like I'm um, seeing this girl grow from like um, her young years to teenage years, and then to um, um, like to an old woman and see her like die of old age with a family surrounding, and then you can just cry about your decisions you made in life, and you can see it affect the final scene. It might end that way. I don't know yet. I I have no idea what about this game, but um, I don't know. The the game is really um unique, and I love. This is the thing I like about story-driven games like this and decision-driven games, that they have these small things in the game that make it feel like you're in real life. Because there's an issue with some decision-based games that really make it seem like I'm very unnatural. And I feel this is the game that has made it more, most natural in this episode, and I'm so excited to continue this game. But the episode one, I made some decisions that I'm not completely proud of. I was kind of glad about the not putting the surveillance, but I because I doubt doubt that it was gonna be something like that. Um, the security guard and Chloe's father was their father. They were pushing up cameras to yeah, we'll check every, everyone out there. And I was um, there's I was a bit some um, unsure about my decisions. I think my biggest mistake is the decision was to tell the principal maybe about this um, the uh, about Nathan Prescott's um, being completely insane. Because I feel like um, that might have just put me under the bus and it might affect the game later and hopefully not fuck me over, but I have my doubts. I hope the next episode isn't completely going to go to this um, like completely to nuts and crazy town. I hope it's going to be slow, because that's the thing I really enjoyed about this first episode. It was the slow pacing that you can actually like check everything out completely peacefully. And then it just um, kind of um, caught up. just. It was a, like a snowball effect. First it's like slow and just moving, and then it's suddenly a huge snowball moving. I'm hoping they're gonna do the same in the next episode. Just be a bit um, a bit slower, not too um, not too quick or too insane. I still want to see this character develop. I want to see the relationships develop. develop. I want to see more small decisions like um, watering a plant. Watering a plant said um, this will affect the future, and I'm I'm gonna guess it's not gonna affect that much. I think it's just gonna affect whether uh, the plant. My plant is dead or alive when I come to see it again. But it's still great to see that there are so, so many small decisions I can make that can have like um, at least some kind of effects. That's impressive. That's um, that's what I enjoy about this game: the small small decisions and the big ones. The small decisions making you ready for the big decisions. So let's see about my decisions. So. I reported Nathan as did 64% of the people. I comforted Victoria as did 74% of the people. That's what I ex expected. I took a photo of David Harrison Kate instead of helping her. Now, as, I can, as you can see, I made a decision that many people could disagree with, but um, I feel like by doing this, I got the um, evidence that he was actually doing that, and possibly this could be something that, um, well, maybe not, maybe not the police, or maybe not him, but some people could, uh, maybe students could see this and just uh, oppose the security and understand that, just hate this shit. Now here's the, here's the hard part. What did you do for doing that? You took the blame for Chloe. I didn't do that. 
You blame Chloe? Of course. Who, who, who blame Chloe? That's disgusting. You stayed hidden. 37%. So I was with the majority, I guess. I just thought um, if I do that, it could fuck up um, my relations in the school. And this guy clearly has power. I, I don't want to get in the foods of the people who are uh, very powerful because they're gonna fuck me over in the future. You came out hiding to intervene. So uh, that's a fun part. There's um, less intervene here, but more intervene here. I guess I might have screwed this up, but. Well, Chloe did say that I have um, actual evidence, which I couldn't have had if I intervened. I feel bad for Kate, but um, you didn't let them. So most people didn't let them. So most of my friends did let uh, him draw the poster, but most didn't let. That's interesting. Maybe they think that um, if you let draw the picture, then something bad would happen. To, I don't know. You signed the petition. Yeah, I thought some um, the cameras could be bad. You helped Elisa, I showed it. What's with my friends? Everyone helped Elisa, and most signed it. It's very interesting stats. You erased the issue, an insult on Kate Slate. You didn't erase. I didn't even know you can do that. Yeah, I had no idea about that one. Jesus Christ. You watched your plans, you didn't watch your plans. I watched it. You touched Dana's pregnancy test, you didn't. Well, I did, but then I um, rewinded it. It was, um, it was stupid, I wouldn't have done it. I just um, fucked up. You reorganized Victoria's photos, you didn't touch Victoria's photos. Of course I didn't touch them, that would be fucked up. You wrote on a dirty RV, you didn't. I didn't care about that, I didn't see it's an important choice. You save the bird, you let the bird die. So I saved the bird. Most people let it die, but maybe they didn't notice you're gonna rewind it. Or maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. You broke Chloe's snow globe, you didn't break. I didn't want to break it, it didn't seem like anything important. You left evidence when searching through David's stuff. I didn't, so I always um, turned off everything and stuff like that. You didn't leave any evidence, that's good. And you read David's files. Of course I did. That was exciting. It's a very exciting first part of the game. What was Okay, I'm gonna be very excited for that one.